hello everyone in this session we will discuss about the working of the dc generator but in this dc generator it is a single loop dc generator generally normally so any machine has number of armature conductors but i will consider only the single loop single loop then we will understand how inside it is operates okay so for construction of the any machine anything we require three things are important all of you know that the first thing is the field just observe here this is the north pole and this is the south poles these are the permanent magnet poles that's why it will provide the flux required flux for the operation so this is the flux always flux lines travels from north pole to south pole this this is the path so there is a flux is available already so flux is already available here yeah the flux is flows from north to south pole the field will be created the next is armature so i already told this is a single loop generator single loop generator means it has only one one arme one conductor so look at here this this start from this is the only one conductor this is only the one conductor okay so here the armature is provided first the field is provided here and the second thing is armature is provided here that armature is only the single loop and we should provide what is dc generator generally first what is generator generator means we should give some mechanical power and then it will generate the some so generate itself it will generate the electrical power so we need some mechanical power so we are using the prime mover here we are using the prime mover so this prime mover will provide the required power required mechanical power applied to the applied required mechanical power is applied that means the mechanical power is given from here mechanical power is given means what is meaning what is the meaning itself we it, it will rotates so it will rotate for example just assume it is rotating in this direction it will rotating in this direction just assuming it is rotating so it will be rotates like this it will rotates anti clockwise direction so the required mechanical power is given it will rotates anti clockwise direction just simply observe here what happen just observe here here we have some uh, we have a armature is there a conductor is there this is one conductor and this is one one conductor these two conductors are connected here right and we have the flux flux lines are also there and this conductor is rotating this conductor is rotating just assume it whenever there is a relative speed exists between the flux and the armature conductor the emf will be induced so here across the conductor and across these conductors emfs will be induced emfs will be induced okay so but where here is the emf induces and here this emf uh, this is the x and y is the points and this is the emf or power v is connected by the this b1 and b2 brushes just take it here this is the b1 comma b2 r we can name it as brushes b1 and b2 are the brushes okay and but at which direction current flow is possible we should look at we should look at the which direction current flow is possible so just look at here always across north pole the current flowing is always cross always the current flow is cross cross means current is flowing in this way the generated current is flowing in this way and always north pole it is the dot what is this meaning dot it will be in this direction it will be in this direction then the armature current is flowing from this path to this path so that means the current the, the current is collected from first initially from these brushes 
just take it as two points this is the m point take it as this is the l point for example the current is coming from this in this direction brushes will be brushes collected the current and that current will be we are connecting a some low resistance here and the path is flowing like this the generated power is the generated power is collected from this the path so this is the at x is this point and y is at this point okay and look at the next thing so just take it as in order to for easy this this conductor is assume as a a point and this point is b point and just take it as this is the c point and this is the d point so the current flow is like this the current flow is flowing like this so it is rotating after one rotation what happen it will be rotates it will be rotates rotation means cd will be come here ab will be come here then look at here here the cd will be the cd conductor will be position of ab and ab conductor will be position of the cd and just look at here here the y point is come here and x point is come here just look at here y point is come here and x point is come here so so just again look at here and same thing prime mover is rotating this is the rotation rotational path always this is the rotational thing and the the so always same thing the current will be across north pole we have flux lines are there and there is a stationary conductor there and always cross and here always dot always cross and always dot so same thing cross means current is entering and dot means current is leaving so the leaving current will be again entering from the l and it will reaches to load current and again the same current is flow from the brush and it is continuously flowing it will be flows continuously so but actually here the generated power itself is the ac emf so the generated the generated just generated in the conductors ab conductor as well as cd conductors the emf generated is ac supply but we are manipulating the ac supply into the dc supply just observe the waveform here just observe the waveform here here the waveform if you clearly observe it there is armature current initially the armature current from just look at here at this point current is flowing like this initially current is zero at the point and it will reach the maximum point and it will come to the zero so we can name it as it is a to b a to b and for the second case so current is a to b if you observe the second case look at the second case current is from b to a just observe here current is from b to a so we are mistaken here actually it is uh, ab here so this is mistake just modify it ab and what about here cd cd is no so just observe current is from b to a current is from b to a this is b to a in yeah so a to b direction means positive b to a means negative itself but if you observe at the load just observe the load here here the load current is for load current current is entering from l terminal leaving from m terminal just look at here in this case also current is entering from l terminal leaving from n terminal that's why the load current is initially it is a high and it will become minimum after that same is possible initially it is low then after that it will become to zero then here also it will become the maximum point then it will become the zero here so here the generated emf across the ab conductors and cd conductors the current is ac waveform 
the current is ac waveform but if you observe across the load the load current is it is always positive cycles only we have only the positive cycles that means it is the it is the dc so it will generate the dc so for this generation the most important the useful thing it is the generation is done by the commutator so if you observe here this is the commutator this complete thing this combination is called as the commutator and this part and this part this is very important part this part is the most important thing it is useful so this is the commutator segment just observe that those segments only reason for conversion these segments only reason for conversion so it consisting of the two segments and it has connected to the brush 1 and brush 2 so for single loop dc generator it is conversion is generally in the armature conductors ac will be generated but practically it will be dc available across the load okay so this is about single loop dc generator working of the single loop dc generator okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you